So this is the press that I designed and built. It's actually modeled more after a hand press than the platen jobber press that most commercial shops would use today. Everything's assembled from just Home Depot parts, pieces of galvanized pipe, and the base is a couple layers of a shelf board that I had them cut down, screwed it together. It needs to be really sturdy so it doesn't bend. So this essentially is the platen right here. I'd originally wanted to use actual bearings in this, but I ended up just putting together my own little hinge assemblies out of pipe fittings. You can see a piece slipping through a T-fitting right there to allow that to bend, and then the uh, entire bar assembly is attached to the base through another hinge. This pretty much just ensures that there's going to be direct downward pressure onto the middle of the platen when the bar is pushed down. The entire assembly does have a little bit of slop in it, but that's actually intentional and it ends up working to our benefit. So here I just drilled some dowel rods through the platen and into holes in the base and that provides more than enough registration control for anything that I'm going to be doing. So on the bottom of the platen there's basically some parchment paper and uh, some heavier stock that I, that I hold in place with rubber bands there. And these stops sort of approximate the behavior of what would be gauge pins. I didn't feel like buying the actual gauge pins. So it's two layers with a little bit of a lip on it. Card just slips right in like that and it'll slip right out pretty easily. This bottom layer of paper is just held in place with rubber bands, so I put some registration marks to make sure everything stays lined up the way I want. But it's nice that it, it comes out so I can adapt it to different jobs, and also so I can slide packing behind it, do a little make-ready work if I need to. So this approximates a chase. It's what I'll be mounting the photopolymer plate to. And it's held in place just with these foam strips, which sort of approximate a chase bed lockup. And it pops right out so I can clean it, change it out, do whatever I need to do for whatever reason. The board itself is just a, an etching board that I got from the art supply store because it was a nice high density, nice and flat. And the board just pops right back in on these foam strips. Holds it in place well enough for anything I'm going to do. Also for registration repeatability, just made some outlines on the base that align to the platen there. Also worth noting are these little cutouts in the mounting here. That was just so I could allow my design to bleed off the sides of the card. So you can see a little bit of ink got on the on the platen there, but for the most part they did their job pretty well. So here's the photopolymer plate being stuck onto the base. It's just adhesive self-stick. Came from Boxcar Press. Pretty simple, you just send them a PDF and they send you a plate ready to go. trick for getting the registration right that actually comes straight from the Boxcar Press website is to stick the plate upside down with some little loops of tape onto the paper you're going to be printing onto. Get the registration right on there. Then you put the card and the plate together on the platen just like you're going to print. Then I just lower the lever, put a little bit of force onto it. You open everything back up. The card and the plate are stuck together onto the base. Peel away the card, and you're left with the plate exactly where you want it. So I started making a couple test impressions and needed a little bit more pressure in some of the big areas of text. So the way I handled this was sort of a make-ready type technique. On a spare card, the areas that need a little extra build-up make-ready, I just smeared some rubber cement on there, layered two cards together. I also made a new mount here and ran registration marks across the back as well. Placed that new card with the make ready on the registration marks. Hold it in place with some tape. Put it back onto the platen and everything lines up and the make ready will be right where you need it. Getting everything set up here to print. I'm using actually just an etching ink because it's what they had at the art supply store and it's been working pretty well so far. Also just a pretty simple brayer, a knife, and some paint thinner. I do find that the ink works a little better with a little paint thinner in it. Working here on just a sheet of glass on a piece of that white board so I can see what I'm doing. The first color I use way too much ink so here I'm trying to keep it really thin. Put a little bit of the ink on there just in dabs, a few drops of paint thinner that I keep in a little syringe. 
Also important, I use gloves whenever I'm working on this. Helps if uh, my hands get dirty, I just take them off, trash them, pull another pair on. Mix everything together with the knife. Then just go in with the brayer and work it until it's nice and smooth and even. On an actual press with ink rollers and an ink plate, this would be a lot easier. To help make the hand inking a little cleaner, just use a poster board cutout. Run the brayer over the plate. Once you're done inking, you pull the template off. It helps keep uh, ink from getting everywhere. So put the first card into the mount there on the platen. Lower the press. Everything does bend here a little more than I'd like. If I were to do it again, I'd make it sturdier. But lift the press back up. Pop the card out and the first one is done. So here we'll go a couple of times start to finish on making a few impressions. This particular design had heavy text elements right in the middle so I ink those twice get a little, little better coverage on there. Slide a card into the thing. Each impression ended up taking about a half a minute. Not fast, but uh, pretty reliable. I found it was pretty important too to make sure the brayer didn't slide across the, the type as you were inking. You had to make sure it rolled. Otherwise it gets ink on the shoulders of the type and leads to a really smudged, smeared look on the, on the final card. And once more, just thinking the type. Remove that template. Helps keep the ink from getting all over the, over the platen. couple hours later, did about a hundred of them, hanging up to dry, just close pins on strings in the windows. And a couple of cards mocked up, sort of how they're going to be built.